Hey guys, so this is Lane, and you can probably guess this is part eight of what I hate about Proud Much. Well, that's the series title, but this ain't. It's basically a, re a refutation of some of the, some of the, um, Hip hypocrisy. There we go. Oh, where is it? Come on. I really should have looked at this up before, yeah, before I made this video. And no, just in case y'all are thinking, no, I'm not closing my Bible right now. I'm just finding what well, I was trying to find what I was looking for, and this is not helping. <laughs> I feel stupid now because in all likelihood I uh, I in all likelihood just passed up exactly what I was going to be reading out of anyway So my main point today, at least, is in it's found in Matthew nineteen, and oh my goodness. For one, I'm glad I was finally able to find it. But secondly, don't think preachers are a different kind of people. But um. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna begin in verse in verse three and are you down to verse six? Verse three says the the Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him and say and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a I can barely read this, okay. Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Verse four. And he and he answered and said unto them, Have you not heard that that which that which made made them at the beginning made them male and female, and 
and in verse 5, and said, For this cause shall, shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they, and they twain shall be one flesh. Yeah, shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but but one flesh. What God, what God, what therefore God hath joined together, let no man put his hand on. With that being said, how Jesus, and then how it's, it's addressing the issue of divorcement. But he still, he still went back in Matthew 19 to, to the account in Genesis when God instituted a man, a male and female relationship. That, that's the first and only, only kind of match ever to be instituted by God himself. And with God having instituted marriage with one wife and one husband, Does, and since the Bible also says a servant is not greater than his master, and again, I'm paraphrasing here, but in essence, it's, it, it got down to, is, is a servant greater than his master? Of course not. So, and, and since many times we can find the past wall, calling himself a servant. And we should be a servant of Jesus Christ in the same way that Paul was. With that being said, if a servant's not greater than his master, and was supposed to be servants to Jesus Christ, and God in the beginning ordained a male and female marriage, does that give us uh, any right to transituting any other kind of marriage, like a gay marriage? That That is not a marriage. Gay marriages do not exist. Men do not have the authority to create made-up marriages and to even act like we do is a complete disgrace to our logical thinking and to God himself. The, this country, the, the great United States, as it was once known, is now suffering. It's now dividing itself slowly and you can easily see this country just falling apart. Because like Jesus said, no house divided against itself cannot stand. A, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And then he also went on to list other things that that, that cannot stand, in a sense, if, it, if it's divided against itself. And, and I, if, I, if I remember that, if I, if I remember that, one of one of those being a nation and therefore this nation is not going to stand it's not going to stand the test of time if if we don't get something in check if we don't fix this nation if we don't let god fix this nation um so there's no there's no excuse We've got no excuse as to why this nation is um, is in the is in the shape it's in, in the condition it's in. It's been years and years coming. There's been enlightenment philosophers referring to John Knox. I don't remember some of the others. Uh, Thomas Paine, um, I think those are the only two I can remember, but, 
But I think that's when it really started going down and then and then the great revivals in America started picking up and then those started dropping back down. But I don't I don't know that we're ever gonna have one one of those great revivals again in America. It'd be something else to see it in in other countries of course. But in America, I think it's pretty well over. I hate to say that. Would I like to see it? Yeah. Don't know that I would, though. Don't know that it might well. Because I don't know that it'll happen. So, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. Please leave a comment. Please comment if you did like the video. Telling me what you liked about it, please leave a comment if you didn't like it. Telling me what you didn't like about the video. And until next time, peace.